Hi, I'm Captain Adam Curtis with the United States Navy SEAL teams, and you're about to watch our hardcore moment of the quarter. By demonstrating grit and tenacity, traits that we hold invaluable in the SEAL teams, the players you're about to watch demonstrate that they know what it means to be hardcore. Say hello to Nick Hoy of Long Beach Wilson High School in Shore Aquatics. The junior goalie is out of action these days following a shoulder injury, but that is just a small bump in the road for this dedicated athlete. Despite not being able to play, the value of Hoy is not lost on Shore head coach and Olympian Shai Crudell. Nick Hoy is a dream type player. Uh, you, we, we get hundreds of kids out here in water polo year after year, um, but there's a special few like Nick. Um, he pushes himself every day. He goes above and beyond. He goes and gets private lessons with goalie coaches. Um, he's always asking what more he can do to be better. Always in great shape and always working to his highest, highest level to perform at his best. We're very lucky to have him. He's, he sets the tone at practices. He's showing up with a, a hurt shoulder. He gets in the pool. He's letting everyone know he cares. So for us, it's, it, it's a it's dream type player to coach. Hoy is relatively new to the game of water polo among his high school peers, just about three to four years in, and found the role of goalie more by chance, a position he has now come to embrace. I kind of just jumped in. One of my coaches said, you have long arms, get in goal. So, I mean, it was a one-day thing, and then it turned into I did it for that week and then kept playing. I like the intensity it has. I mean, I played other sports before, but it's not, it's not the same intensity, and I like the pressure of being goalie too. So. Plenty of people love the game of water polo and work every day to get better. So what makes this guy so different? Well, since birth, Hoy has been dealing with a very rare condition, one that makes any sport, let alone one as difficult as water polo, super tough. Mitochondrial disease takes away the very things needed to excel at sports. Reduced lung function, difficulty building muscle, and energy generation are among the main factors that have plagued Hoy and his two brothers for most or all of their lives. It pretty much just messes with your system, messes with your endurance. Uh, I can't really convert food to energy as well, so I'll run out of energy a lot faster. It's harder to build muscle. I mean, it just makes everything a little bit tougher. My lungs are at 60%. I mean, it affects me in a lot of ways. A simple stomach flu has sent me to the hospital on multiple occasions. You know, it just it messes with you in all sorts of ways. Ironically, one of the world's toughest sports is helpful in battling this disease that affects roughly 1 in 4,000 children before the age of 10. The better shape Hoy is in, the better he feels. Ever since I was little, I mean, it's always affected me, but it doesn't affect me as much when I'm in shape and when I'm active. And water polo, it's a great sport. I've, like I said, I've played other sports and, you know, nothing's really triggered for me like water polo. It's definitely helped gain my, uh, build on my lung function and all the things I'm missing from the disease. It helps my endurance and, you know, I feel it when I'm in school. I feel it uh, just walking around. I feel better. Along with staying in shape, another way Hoy combats the lack of energy is through food consumption. Unable to generate energy naturally, he supplements through carbohydrates. People who know Hoy may not be aware of mitochondrial disease, but they do know one thing. He can definitely eat. Consider the average diet calls for 2,000 calories a day. Hoy's mother estimates he consumes 6,000 calories daily. I would usually have, you know, five meals a day plus snacking through school and stuff. Whenever I go to uh, the beach club that my parents own, I mean, I'll get I'll get chili cheese fries, chicken fingers, and a bagel. I'll have cereal. I'll have, I mean, it'll all sound random. I'll microwave a pizza or something, you know, just anything that'll fill me up real quick before dinner. Hoy, who has dealt with a host of operations over the years, has an abdomen littered with scars, which might be the only indication that he isn't just like everyone else in the pool. I'm not even sure a lot of the younger kids in the high school or the club even know about uh, the severity of the situation. Um, I know myself and Shy, the owner of Shore Aquatics, know what he has to overcome every day to do the different things that the coaches set forth for him. He, he hides it well. He hides it well because he is so determined and he does not want us to favor him because of his previous injuries or his health condition. So for us, we don't look at that anymore. We look at Nick Hoy, the water polo player. We don't look at Nick Hoy, the person who needs extra help. It's just something to prove to myself because I can, you know, pretty much beat it. I've overcome a lot, you know, I've, uh, I haven't let it affect me too much in water polo in the pool and, you know, most, only a handful of my friends know, you know, you can't really tell me different from the other guys. It had affected me a lot more than it does now and right now, you know, I'm living normal, you know, no one can tell the difference, so 
it's nice, you know, it's my little thing. So after doing such a good job keeping mitochondrial disease a secret, why share it now? Well, for one, Hoy is proud of what he's been able to overcome. And more than that, he knows he could be an inspiration for other kids fighting the same fight he does. It's been normal for me, like I said. It, I mean, I've never known anything different. And, you know, as long as I'm out here still doing everything that I can, it doesn't really, I don't let it affect me. I don't think about it 24-7. You know, I've gone to the hospital and, you know, it's almost, it was almost routine for me. I mean, I would love to go to the hospital and, you know, talk to some kids. Uh, which I have done to, for volunteer, and I mean, I don't look at myself as an inspiration. I did this for myself, and I made this for myself. So, with the, tons of support from my family and coaches, but this was for me. And you know, I would love to try and inspire kids to, you know, step out of the mitochondrial life. Hoy, a member of ODP in his area, has his sights set on the next level, much like other kids his age, whether it be college, the national team, or beyond. I know that he'll succeed, uh, just like he succeeded every day of his life. With his height and his legs and his work ethic, without a doubt. I would love to play in college. I'd love to go to the Olympics. I mean, it's however far my skills will take me. However it turns out for Nick Hoy, he was another easy choice for our hardcore moment of the quarter, and a guy that hasn't forgotten the people that got him where he is today, especially his parents. I should thank them every day. I mean, it, they've been such a huge help. I mean... I can't imagine what I put them through when I was younger. That must have been absolute hell. But, um, I mean, they've been strong. They've let me and my brothers go out and do whatever as long as, you know, it's not going to hurt us. And it hasn't. It's, you know, it's only helped. So, I mean, I can't thank them enough.